Hello guys, welcome back to another P3D video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the connected flight deck slash shared cockpit feature that comes with the Aerosoft Airbus Professional Series that includes the A330 and the uh, A320 family. Uh, it's really simple, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So, in the A330 you want to go down to this lower MCU here. If you are in the A320 family, you just click this uh, there's no click spot here which pops up the uh, pop-up MCD menu, you just click that there. But in the A330, it's actually here as well. So, once you've got this up, you click Connected Flight Deck, believe it or not. It is alpha, so it's in an alpha stage, so it's uh, pretty buggy, but bear with it. It'll take time to iron out some bugs, but for now, Connected Flight Deck is very good. Anyway. To begin with, you just click connection to on, and boom, it says connected. Look at that. Uh, you can leave all these settings to have you want. Basically, uh, connection type is basically if you're pilot flying, which is PF, uh, it means you have the controls, or if you're PM, pilot monitoring, you do not have the controls. Uh, that simple. Seat select, I mean, it doesn't actually do anything to do with the sim, but you just select your seat maybe in the near future. When you select left or right, your EFB will change seats. I'm not even sure why my EFB is not working. But whatever. We'll come to that later. Oh, whenever I next fly the A330. And sync displays. You can either have them on, basically. It just syncs the displays between the two connections. Or, or how many connections you've got, because you can observe the session as well. I keep it on. I like to keep it on, obviously. But sometimes I get these flickering. But, like I said, that's just a bug. Uh, which hopefully will be fixed. So... If you're going to be the host, all you have to do is click create session and you have a session. Now people can now join you as long as they put in the ID and the password in these boxes here. So like I said, let's say that it would typically say zero here. Uh, let's click that. But all they have to do is click 159, which is what the host would tell the person. And the password, they'll just enter in as well. And they'll click join session. And then they'll join that session. Obviously I just left it so that session no longer exists. So uh, you, you can't join it, but if you recreate a session and make a new one, obviously it's gone up plus one for the ID and the password, it's just random. So yeah, if you're the host, just give the your friend or whoever's joining, hopefully it's your friend, <laughs> and uh, just tell them the ID and the password, and they can just click join session, as long as you are still creating this session. Like I said, now I'm no longer at the host of the session, I cannot join that session again. Obviously, you can obviously uh, observe as well. You don't, I don't think you can take controls or do anything in the cockpit. I think just observe so you can get that beautiful wing view. But currently in Manchester, it is uh, terribly, terribly foggy. So uh, look, you can know, just see some lights over there. Anyway, that's it. That is Connected Flight Deck in a nutshell. For those of you who've been uh, struggling with that, there you go. Hopefully that works. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.